All right, I'm recording. Hello, everyone. We are recording this meeting now. Uh, before I started the recording, we closed some translation issues that had been completed by our team in China. Thank you very much. And now I am trying to open the revise the conversion rate metric. And for some reason, my browser is not loving this metric page. <laughs> I have no idea why. No. Um, I wonder if it's that space that I caught at the beginning. All right. Well, there, here, here we go. Yeah. Um... I just uh, added some implementation and uh, some scroll field. down. Yeah, to the scroll. implementation scroll. This section farther or just here? Uh, yeah, scroll yeah. Down, maybe. Scroll. Ah, nice. Second, yeah, add some picture and uh, added some reference. Uh, the first, the first one, and it merged. It merged in Open Unar community. Oh, very nice. So this is, we should, so this is this, this metric, when you say it's been merged in the open Euler community, what does yeah, that mean? Uh, um, at the bottom of the doc. Okay. Uh, okay. References. Uh, you can say references, the first one, the first link. Yes. I see. Yes. Yes. This is. This is explain how we do it and why we uh, do this. Yeah, so this, this is, is uh, <clears throat> very nice. Yeah. This is wow. <clears throat> what the Open Unit team think about the translation metric. So, How? yeah. So this is a lot of the rationale behind the existence of this metric published in the Open Euler community. Yes. It's very nice. That's excellent. So I, I, I guess Open Euler, Open Euler uh, community has used this concept in their uh, community metrics uh, measurement. I wonder. I wonder if it might make sense. And this is just an idea to also submit this post to opensource.com. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a, I think it's relevant there, but what do others think? I think it's a good idea. So okay. how can we uh, publish this article to the opensource.com? So what I would suggest is that somebody reach out to opensource.com with this idea for a post and I can do that or anyone else who wants to can do that. We've recently published a number of things on opensource.com. Um, what, what Elizabeth and Don, you've published more on opensource.com than I have. What do you suggest? Yeah, I'm trying to think of who the contact person is and I don't, I don't know. Um, let me check with Georg, okay. or, unless you know Don. Matt Matt Broberg would probably know. Yeah, that's oh, who yeah. I was going to call. Yeah. 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 I'll check with Matt Broberg and see who the best person to reach out there is, and I will let you all know. Okay, I'm just going to make a note. It's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. And the reason I suggest it is because this blog post has an audience, but what you've accomplished, I think, has a broader audience. And one of the tricks of writing is refactoring and reusing the information that you blog about on multiple blogs. So often it's the case that we'll have a chaos blog post. Somebody may also share it with opensource.com or with their own personal blog. And, and I think 
that that just recognizes not that there are different audiences. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make a note that. Uh, maybe you should uh, scroll up. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, scrolled, I scrolled down so far, I, I didn't realize I'd gone to another date. Um, so. Is there additional work, there that, additional work that, that we want to do on, on this metric or do we feel this metric is reasonably mature and we should start pressing it forward to a release state? Mm, I think we need to maybe polish the whole content. Okay. I mean, the paid content has been added somehow on last do, the meeting. Do, do we want to spend some time in this meeting working on that? metric then or do we want to move on there's another metric listed here about contributor net yeah. recommendability which which metric should we spend our effort on today uh i think we can uh going forward to the next uh, metrics and uh, for the conversion rate we can do it after after meeting okay so we'll do conversion rate after meeting and we'll do contributor net recommendability we'll work on uh, right now, which this tab just does not like to open anything. Yes, yeah. all right. Okay, so this is, this is the PowerPoint that we shared the last time um, I recognize that many of you cannot access Google Docs. Um, what would be the best way? What, what, how have we worked on metrics together previously? Um, what's the best way to go about doing that in this group? You may create the metric for this. You. Yeah, yeah, to, um, to do a- Maybe so we can use- SharePoint, maybe. Okay. Um, let me see if I have file. I think Matt is the only one with uh, SharePoint privileges on this account. But um, All right. Um, does anyone have a SharePoint account other than Matt? Did I lose the call? Nope, I'm still here. Okay. I Sorry. Do not have SharePoint. All right. Let me see. I do, but it's VMware SharePoint, so I can't really. Uh, all right, I am trying to access my SharePoint. Maybe you can use uh, Google Doc anyway. Uh, yeah, I think, I think uh, the SharePoint people... have some. Yeah, I think uh, it's the people some, here in the authority meeting. issues. Yeah. Okay, so just use a Google Doc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I think every time we met in the metric model meeting, we also have some authority issues with SharePoint. Okay. Yeah, I think that, uh, yeah, the Google Docs, I think, is the best way for us. Okay. Um, so. Wait a minute, hang on. All right, so we do have this Google Doc, but it's not a Google Doc. Um, 
that um, lets us edit it. So, or it's not a, it's not actually the template. So let me do this. Elizabeth, do we have a do we have an Asia Pacific folder? I don't I don't think so. Um I'm just gonna create a folder then. Okay. I'm gonna try to create a folder. And this is for contributor net recommendability. All right. And if anyone has meet, has quick access to the, this is the, um, to the template, that would be fantastic. I will check. Yeah, I can access. Excellent. If somebody could just paste the template in there, we can move this stuff around. I'll bring things from the slide. Putting that, and I will. Did I, I think I shared this doc, but if I didn't, uh, I will share it again. likely is it that you contributor recommend a community slash project to other people and then I believe do we, we need to do we need to introduce this uh, contributor not recommended ability to uh, to introduce it again, uh, I mean, uh, is that best? And uh, uh, and the Dom maybe not familiar with uh, this metric matrix somehow. Um, so this is um, right. So this is the metric. I think you're asking me to explain the metrics template. Is that right? So we have a we have a template, and um, 
essentially these are the instructions at the top and we work in a Google Doc, but we try to comply with markdown syntax so that the Google, Google Doc obviously allows collaborative editing, but we use markdown symbols in the Google Doc so that when we're finished, it easily copies into the markdown document in the repository and can then be more easily just translated for the repository. Because right now, GitHub doesn't offer a collaborative editing function. So everything in the template is a placeholder for other, for the information that we actually wanna put into the metric definition. So this, this little tag here is for the, I'll just put this in a different color so we know not to edit it. This is a piece of information that once we're ready to release, we fill in the name of an issue that's used to have people make comments uh, during the comment period. But we don't need to edit that right now because we don't have an issue. Yeah. Alternately, so I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think we have uh, we have some plugins for the Google Docs for trans uh, can convert docs to the Markdown. So maybe we didn't need to use the native Markdown symbols. Oh, if if yeah. you have a do you have a like a is it Pandoc or some other tool that you use for that purpose? Uh, no, no, it, it is. Uh, just to use the add-ons for the oh there's the, a there's a google drive and google docs oh can you share that in the yeah. in the text and we can add it to our chaos yeah google, I google doc imported it to... just... okay uh, let me let me actually i probably have the ability to oh yeah sending it to the message is probably going to be easier yeah this add-on is Name is Docs to Markdown. I type in the okay, all right. uh, message window. Yeah. Docs to Markdown. Yeah. Two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so there we go. Install. The knife, not the knife, the one. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that the wrong one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the that's the right it, one. Is this yeah. the right one? Yeah. Yes, the right one. Okay. All right. Continue. Wow. All right, it seems that it has been installed. Sweet, yeah. So now we no longer technically need to use this. Um, does it, I suppose it, so if I was to yeah, we can, hypothesize, we can simply... I would say this would be heading one and that would translate to a markdown heading one. Would that, is that yeah. fair? Yeah, we can simply uh, copy the, text on the GitHub and paste it onto, uh, as a template. So we okay. don't care about, we can not care about the symbols, yeah. Okay, all right, that sounds yeah. great. So then this would be a heading three. Wait a minute, I did. I highlighted the wrong, th oops, I'm trying to highlight that. And this would be heading three. I would recommend validating it though. I, I've, I've used tools like this before and they don't always convert things the way you expect them to. So just, you'll just need to, personally, I actually prefer to write them in Markdown in Google Docs rather than convert them. Um, but that, that's just my, my personal preference. Um, but you really, you really should validate it and just make sure that it really did do what the template says it should do. 
Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah, Mark Brown is is okay for everyone. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Don. I'm, this will this will be my responsibility to fix if it doesn't work. <laughs> but we let's pilot. I guess we'll we'll pilot this. I had some filters for for this. Some the, features. I mean, I mean the filters. Oh, filters! Yes, please add away. And are, are people be able to edit this or is it just me? Uh, I'm adding it. I'm okay, adding good. It. All right, good. What I'm going to do right now is just like test this markdown thing. Don and others, what working group do you think that this would ultimately go in? I can I can see it being part of either value or common. I think if you think it fits in value, that might be a better place for it. If yeah. the value, if the value working group doesn't think that it fits there, then we can put it in common. But I, this feels more valuey to me. Yeah. Okay. It does to me as well. Common always comes up because um, it's it's the generic. It's the one we throw stuff we're not sure about <laughs> or too lazy to think about in advance. Let's be honest. <laughs> I agree with you. I think it's better to put this metrics into the value work group. And then that is where it shall go.
I think a lot of community would survey the similar question to see how would you, how likely you would recommend my community or project to your friends. Which I think it's better to pop up here. One thing I learned in another working group is you, if you create the issue and put the checklist in, then it's easier. I'm curious. What happens? All right. It seems that it looks pretty good, actually. When you say to evaluate the contributor's general loyalty to a community project, are we trying to express mm -hmm. that whether or not the contributor's participation raises the performance of the community or detracts from it. In other words, when I think of contributor net recommendability, um, I'm thinking that this is a place where I as a contributor think that there are great things happening in the project. It's not like I can be loyal to really terrible projects. I work at a university, so <laughs> it happens all the time. Um, Mm -hmm. But there's, um, whether I would recommend it or not, um, a contrib it's, it's um, loyalty. I think the word is to evaluate the contributor's general view of the community or project as one that is um, a positive experience, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Does, does that express what you mean by loyalty or do you mean loyalty where I'm loyal even if I don't particularly care for a project culture? No, no, I agree with you. Okay. But because, because I think uh, the loyalty more means that uh, you would stay at uh, this community if you like this culture of community and uh, you would do more contribution and also, you would recommend your friends and and uh, and colleagues to join together to this uh, community. Just stay at longer. Maybe something like that helps to express what we mean specifically in English, recognizing I'm sure the loyalty was just a meet, you know, which is the English word for this. I think the second one is pretty clear.
Do we have a thought on how this could be possibly implemented? So would we use a survey or would we use some kind of automated mechanism examining? Yeah, I, I, I listed, uh, I, I read in something on the data collect, uh, data collection okay. strategy. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it's like uh, some questions, sorry. Uh, first question, it's, uh, it's just uh, the question, how likely is that you would uh, uh, recommend uh, uh, com community to other people? We can use Likert scale. Are there other ways that people have used to identify the recommendability of a, to decide or evaluate whether a community is one that they would recommend to others or want to participate in? Obviously there's like, sometimes we have a bad experience and we tell that to our friends so they don't go through the same pain. Are there other implementations that we want to write down? You know, I'm thinking because the data source is, I, I'm thinking of the data source of these metrics. One could be the normal uh, data coming from some REST API, just like Augur and Grimlab mm -hmm. to invoke some API from, from GitHub or GitLab. This one type of data source. The other type of data source is people directly. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm thinking of the most important data source for this matrix is people or contributors or in this in this community so uh, it's quite important that we can talk to with the uh, uh, contributors directly through the survey to let them answer this question otherwise it would like uh, be the similar like some other metrics using the REST API to, to get this data. data. So. I'm just making up some data that mm -hmm. potentially could proxy for, obviously there are other reasons that you, a community can grow or, or reduce. I mean, there's a maturity and decline life cycle. So um, I think by looking at the re new contributor rep uh, retention rate with peer communities, what I'm imagining there is several projects that do essentially the same thing. And if you see one growing or one declining, it may just mean that one is starting to become dominant, but it could also mean that one has got a culture that people are less. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Especially in the, especially we want to invoke, uh, uh, invoke more new new people into our com uh, community through the meetup or some event. Mm -hmm. Maybe especially to need to. Uh, evaluate the rotation rate. Yeah. Okay. We have about three minutes left. I think we've made some really good progress on this. Yeah.
Um, Maybe we can go in on for in the next meeting. Because, yeah. Okay, Let's uh, move this. Maybe I'll leave this here and I'll say that um, for the next meeting. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, how about next meeting? Yeah. So you know we we have a long vacation from October first to October seventh. Okay. Uh, seven days vacation. I see the next Let's... meeting is. Uh, October six, maybe. So that would not be a good time for the next meeting. Do we want to just move it and have the meeting October twentieth then? October twentieth okay. would be the next time. Maybe because I have. Or, yeah, I, or I have. Or Sorry. should we should we do it the thirteenth and then just get on back get back on our regular cadence after that? It's it's up I to you. That yeah, I think that would uh, because in the certain we would have a matrix model meeting. Right. So um, yeah. So the twentieth is probably the better choice. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And also, I have a question about uh, translation because uh, we we just finished uh, all the translation uh, Chinese translation. Yes. Uh, I'm wondering. Uh, any other work we need to take care before release? Right now, I think that all of the translations that are necessary have been addressed. And, um, but I think, yeah, I think we'll make it an agenda item next time just because, you know, as a practical matter, it's not out of the question that new translations will come up. So I have a, let's see, and then agenda. Okay. Um, I, I think uh, with, if there's nothing else, is there anything else that anybody wants to bring up before we draw the meeting to a close? No. Excellent. No. I think this is great. We've made some really good progress on a new metric. We've got another one nearing completion. The translations are done and yeah. we've got the metrics model. Yeah. Will, will the metrics model meeting next week conflict with your holiday as well? I think we're actually, we're not gonna have the metrics model meeting next week because it's the OSS summit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I saw we'll, the mail from the match. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just be taking a few weeks off and I hope you enjoy your holiday. Uh, I wish I was in China right now. I would love a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have a birthday, Sha. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yesterday, uh, yesterday was birthday, my Sha. yeah Monday was yeah. my birthday. So uh, <laughs> I, I saw, the, <laughs> you can say birth cake. I, I put things. <laughs> I had plenty of birthday cake. There's no doubt about that. All right. All right. <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.